Hello everyone, this is Mohammed Babili and uh, we're going to have a Hello World application for Windows Phone 8. So we can either start from Visual Studio 2012 or from Blend for Visual Studio for now. Let's start from Blend here. We got a new project. Here we can make Windows Store HTML project or we have here. Uh, or XAML Windows Store app, and here we have we have the Windows Phone. Uh, we have some templates: Windows Phone application, Windows Phone data bound application. Uh, we have Windows Phone Panorama application, Windows Phone Pivot application. So we're going to discuss these three actually. So let's start with Windows Phone. So. We call it this or hello world. So we have here to choose the language, whether so choose your favorite language, which uh, whether C sharp or Visual Basic. For me, I choose C sharp, and we have two versions. So for sure, we're going to do the eighth version. The project is loaded. Well, as we know, Blend is the designer part of Visual of making an app. Generally, in Visual Studio 2012 is the coding side of any application. Well, that doesn't mean to that doesn't mean you cannot code in Blend, but it won't be as efficient as Visual Studio 2012. Um, we don't need to open it now. Uh, let's check the project files here. We have the references, we have the assets, properties, resources, app.xaml, and the pages actually we're going to have. Um, for example, here we have app.xaml. This has all the information about the application. You cannot open it here. So, as we see, we, have, we can open it in Visual Studio, but we cannot open it in Blend. Um, so here is more focused on designing. So we have here the assets. We got some tools here, and we can choose from here as well. So for example, let's see. Here's a blank application. We can add anything by just dragging it. For example, here's a button. We dragged it. We don't need it now. Uh, we have objects and timeline. Well, this is the phone application page. Generally, the application bar is not visible. You have to create it. Well, the layout route. This is the layout route. It's everything here. It's taking the whole size. The title panel, you can see it, and it has here the layout has the content panel. The title panel has two text blocks. You can see the first text block is my application, the second text block is the page name. So for Hello World, we don't need it, or we can edit them. So, for learning purpose, let's remove them to see what they are. So, here, so here, here we remove them and we still got the layout route and the content panel. Um, so, we don't need the content panel also. We just have the layout route. Um, so, so here we have a blank app, full blank app, and that doesn't mean we can't take off the layout route. Also, we can take it off. Also, we can remove it, and you can we can start with one what we want. But it's better to keep it. It's very important actually. It's a grid. Tool actually, it's not just a it's not the layout route. It's just named as layout route, but it's a grid actually. 
Um, well, we can drag anything we want. So, for example, let's uh, we have text box, we have text block, we have images. So, since it's a hello world app, we have a text block. We dragged it. Hello. I think there is something wrong with world. Yes, world. Here we go. So here is our hello world app. We can edit it from here or from XAML here. So we don't have that font size. Let's add it. Font size. Size and for example, here is 20. We can make it 40. And let's see the change. Um, so, as we see, we can edit it either from XAML here or from the editor. So Let's go back to the designer. Here is the Hello World application. Here, a Hello World blank application. Um, well, we just have to use a compiler, choose a display theme, have the light theme, which is used. Uh, it's, it drains the battery actually, but it's used when there's a lot of text. But for now, let's use the dark. Actually, most applications come with the dark theme, compatible with the dark theme. Uh, deploy target, we have four emulators, and we can also, if we have a Windows phone device, we can choose it. Uh, okay, to compile it. I have just to run the project and we see the compiler now. And sometimes, like, it really takes time to for the emulator to work, it's heavy. Well, we can also move our project to Visual Studio from Blend. As we'll see after we check the application. So this is the emulator. It's a Windows Phone 8 emulator actually. Uh, we can... Mm, there's a lot of options here we can the emulator with them. So here it works. You can see there's the back button, start button, and search button. Well, here's our Hello World applica application. Um, let's not close it, let's just keep it like this. Um, to move our project to Visual Studio, we just have to right click here, hit it in Visual Studio, and we'll see it. Open in Visual Studio, even if we didn't open it before there. Even if we haven't opened it. Well, for Visual Studio, we have the Solution Explorer. Uh, we can see, uh, let it uplo get uploaded first. Get loaded. Uh, we have here the Abdul Samuel that we couldn't open in Blend. You can see that we can open it here. And we can open the C sharp version of it. As we see here. Um, so in Visual Studio mostly the coding part is very important in it. Um, let's see here. We for example 
let's make the visibility visibility has collapsed and add a button and we name the button show hello world okay here we go Oops, sorry. Um, so we made this. Let's move it to Visual Studio. As we can see. Uh, if we go to the main page, we can see this. So we're going to do some C sharp here to show the text. So we do that by adding an event for clicking. So we double click on this. Okay. Um, okay. Um, do you remember Visual Studio 2010? We used to name, uh, there used to be, every element used to be pre named. But unfortunately, here we don't have a pre naming way. So if we create a text or button, it has no name. Um, so how do we show our text? I think we need to go back to blend. So right click here, open and blend, and for sure we save everything. The file has been modified outside of blend. Do you want to reload it? Yes, we want. Okay, how do we view the text? We go to the layout route, and here we get the text block. We go to the settings. We have we find no name. So we are going to call it text block one so here we have the text block we move the project to visual studio uh, we go to the C sharp we have already the event handler so once we click it um, Let's view if we can see the text block. Well, we need the text block one dot. Um, I think we need to move our project and open it again. I think there is some problem. We change the name of the event handler. Here we go. So text block one dot text or no need dot visibility. equal visibility dot visible let's build it you can see the build succeeded and here we turn emulator here 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 we compile it and let's see now what will happen Well, show hello world, and here we clicked it, and hello world. We got it, let's try it again. So, I think I, you can see now the difference between Blend and Visual Studio. In Blend, oh, here we save it, we save what we did. Visual Studio is focusing more on coding. And you can view everything about coding here, but 
you can't implant. Uh, I also want to show you something. In Blend, um, if you click text block, you won't see. Uh, you won't, Blend won't recognize it, but in Visual Studio it will recognize it, as we can see. Uh, so actually, Blend's focusing more really on design, but for that, Blend. With XAML coding, Blend is useful actually because it's related to the design. XAML is the code of the design, so you won't have any problem. It would be actually better to code XAML here than C. -sharp. So, I think I explained enough about it. So, here we finish the part one. We're going to check the panorama app and pivot app in the other parts. Thank you very much.